The overall goal of this procedure is to induce colitis by infecting mice with the gram-negative murine pathogen Citrobacter rodentium, allowing the study of pathogen and host interactions in the gastrointestinal tract. This is accomplished by first inoculating a culture of C. rodentium overnight. In the second step, mice are infected by oral gavage with the overnight inoculum. Next, on day 7 post-infection, the cecum, colon, and luminal contents are collected. During the final step, the tissues are plated, the bacterial colonies are counted, and the tissues are immunostained for the host proteins of interest. Ultimately, pathogen burden, barrier function, histological damage, and changes in host response can be assessed through immunohistochemistry. Although this method offers a robust model of infectious colitis, allowing for the study of host pathogen interactions and immune responses, it can also be adapted to examine the effects of bacterial infection on the risk of colon cancer. Generally, indiv individuals new to this method will naturally struggle with the bacterial infection of the mice with, or with oral gavage. Begin by using a sterile inoculating loop to streak viable C. rodentium from a frozen glycerol stock onto an LB agar plate. After overnight incubation at 37 degrees Celsius, use an inoculating loop to transfer colonies from the LB plate to 3 milliliters of sterile LB broth. Next, incubate the C. rodentium culture aerobically in a benchtop incubation.